Hey, what's up? This is Mike with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to show you how to create a page curl in Adobe Fireworks. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is create a square object. Just go over to the vector, uh, vector tool section and just select the rank rectangle tool. Select a square object and then go ahead and select the sub selection arrow and click on one of the points of the rectangle. And once you have that selected, go over and grab the pen tool in the vector tool section and you're going to create a point on the two spots where I'm showing you now on the, the rectangle. Okay, So your rectangle should look something like this where you have four corners and you have two points in similar locations. Okay, So what you want to do is go ahead and make a copy, control C, control V, so that there's two copies. And I'll tell you why later, but go ahead and save one and you just want to hide one of the, you know, hide the, the lower, the, the one below. So let's play around with this one. So right now what you want to do is go ahead and with the sub selection tool or pointer, select the lower right hand point, go ahead and delete. So now let's zoom in. So now go ahead and select the pen tool and what we're going to do first with your arrow tool go ahead and, and select the, the canvas so that your object isn't selected and then grab the pen tool go back over to your rectangle and you're going to create an object that resembles the page curl. So again I created two points. Let's start over. I'll create a point here with the pen tool. Click here. So I'm click. I click there. Click here. And now I want to click here. But at this point, I want to keep the the mouse down and drag up. So I click, keep the mouse keep the mouse down, select it, and uh, just drag up. And you'll see I created a a curved shape there. So the pen tool right now is attached to my pointer. What I want to do is select the, this dot again. So now it releases it from that, from the curved state, and then go ahead and select the last dot. But I want to do the same thing, curve it as well. So I want to create an object that's uh, that's curved like this, and it looks something like that. Okay. So if I zoom out. It's starting to look like a page curl already. All right. So then I could, with my sub selection tool, I can go ahead and play around with this object to make it look more realistic. Okay. Once I have that there, I want to then go to my paint tool, my paint filler. All right. Instead of solid, I want to make a gradient. So gradient linear, and I want to make a linear gradient going from you want to go light to dark, a dark shade of gray. Okay, so I want to point the shadow from light to dark. So we'll go back into. I'm going to edit the the gradient color here. So I want to select what I did. If you select this tool, or you don't have to select it, but just click right next to this little box here. It creates another color bar and I want to create this one I want to make this one a little darker and what that gives us that gives us a that gives us a nice shade from light to a, a nice soft gray to a darker gray at the bottom as you can see so it's looking really good at this point then what I want to do is from here let's zoom in a little with my pen tool, what I'm going to do is create a, a shadow effect. So I'm going to recreate the page curl that I initially started. So I have this object sort of floating around. What I'm going to do is select the main page curl and bring it up to the top. And then I'm going to make this one a solid color 
solid darker color. So if I pan out, if I pan out, I have my page curl. All right. So that's pretty much it at this point. And now I'm going to show you how you can really, really add to this page curl. Okay, so now we have a, our page curl. We have the effect in place. And I'm going to show you how you can really take this to the next level and really use it to, to be effective and uh, to, to get higher conversions as far as uh, using this on a landing page or such. So what I've done, I've went out on the web prior to creating this video and I just captured a, an image. Okay, this is a, a, a normal bitmap flat image that I'm going to... Let's just scale it up a little bit for this purpose. I'm going to use as the backdrop, I'm going to mask with this object here. All right. So what you need to do, this this object that we have here, uh, make that white. You turn that to white. And then here's our object. All right. Put our object in the background. You select both objects. And now you go to modify, mask, group as mask. Okay, so now that just masked my 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 sort of my graphic, and now with that other rectangle that I told you to hide initially, go ahead and bring that out. So here is our object. Okay, you want to send that. You want to you want to then take your subselection tool. And click on the dots on the top left-hand corner. And delete it. Click on the top on the dot on the top right corner. Delete, and then the the dot on the lower right on lower left-hand corner. You want to go ahead and delete. So that's going to leave you with a a triangle like this. Okay. Then now I want to give this a a gradient as well. But the colors will, the directions will be a little bit differently. I want to go instead of white to dark. I want to go dark to a different shade color. So we're going to go black to, and let's do red. Okay. And what this does, it gives it a, an effect that now it looks like the page sort of curled up, and uh, there's another piece behind it. And now I can sort of add some copy. I, I went and got some copy, or I just created this, this label free trial. And what that does, if you notice, it really brings now attention to this area here. So what you can do, you can mask this area, you can put an image inside this little triangle, you can um, do different things, you know, you can, you can angle the cop or the copy a little bit better so that it fits make it smaller and what this does it becomes not just a graphic that you just put there for the sake of it but now it really draws attention to to this area and uh, it could help conversions by um, by being uh, more, more more noticeable and such so hope this was helpful uh, if you have any questions shoot me an email at mlock at mlwebco.com and I'll be happy to to assist further. All right. Thanks for watching.